Hello, this is Gary007 and welcome to Avorian. Uh, in this video we're going to talk about thrusters and gyros. So this is a beginner's guide, so I'm hoping that um, this will enlighten a few people coming into the game and give them a bit of knowledge going forward and help them build better spaceships basically. Archimedes is credited with establishing the concept of leverage over 2000 years ago. He famously stated, given it a lever long enough and enough distance he could lift the earth. The same rule applies in the Vorian. Uh, the further away you have thrusters from the center of mass of your ship, the more maneuverability you will get out of that thruster. So it's something you want to keep in the back of your mind when building. So there's two types of thruster blocks available in a Vorian. The first one is your thruster. This is an all-round purpose thruster it has six sides with all nozzles poking out on all six sides this is just your everyday thruster it's a simple solution uh, when building a ship so you don't have to worry about uh, placing them in uh, certain spots or anything like that they benefit from leverage these thrusters so having them on the outside you're gonna you're gonna see the benefit of of, of thrusters um, working with that leverage so the further away it is from the center of mass the better it is for you the better maneuverability you will get out of your regular thruster so yeah so thrusters placed directly into the center of mass will only improve braking and strafing on a large ship this so when when you start out small in the game with a small ship you're not going to notice any differences you a regular thruster at the center of mass of your ship because it's so light you're not going to see any downsides to this and you can get away with doing it as your ship gets larger it's gonna it's gonna amplify the problem more and more so um, it's gonna you're not going to see the benefit by putting thrusters closer to the um, center of your ship but you know as your ship is light it's not going to matter too much but as your ship gets bigger it's going to amplify this issue more and more for you when you're building ships so the other thruster in the game is a directional thruster so directional thruster only has nozzles at two opposing sides uh, so this block is 2.5 times greater in thrust along that axis so these thrusters are twice as powerful as your regular thruster. You can rotate these blocks to cover your pitch and roll and you're going to get more bang for your buck um, specializing in a directional thruster than a regular all-round thruster. So it's something to keep in mind that um, when you're building um, ships in Avorian and using thrusters that these thrusters are really going to provide a lot of thrust for you. Um, depending on which way you rotate the block. Again, directional thrusters benefit from leverage. The further away from the center of mass they are, the better maneuverability you will get from them. So, braking in the Vorian. Uh, so, thrusters is the only difference in that works against the direction the ship is currently drifting in it is unnecessary to have strong forward facing thrusters for effective braking simply turning the ship to face the drift direction with the most thrusters will work just as well so i guess the point is um you don't have to have strong forward facing thrusters to stop you don't have to have 16 thrusters on the front of your ship to stop you can simply do a handbrake in space <laughs> and you get because you'll end up having a lot of thrusters on the side of your ship anyway and that's going to provide a lot of braking um, when strafing and all the rest of it as well so just keep that in mind when you're building it it's not necessary to have thrusters at the front of your ship it does it, you can do it if you want to no one says you can't so yeah, I thought I might just bring that up. You'll end up doing a lot of strafing and a lot of, lot of 
uh, looping and all the rest of it to stop as your ship gets really fast and you overshoot stations and all the rest of it so you'll 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 get the hang of it in Avorian anyway <laughs> strafing will be you know your mainstay bread and bread and butter when it comes to pulling up the stations so gyros are another um, block in Avorian so so okay gyro array blocks can increase the rotational speed of your ship increasing its maneuverability and turning capability they will increase the yaw pitch and roll of your ship depending on which way the block is rotated so you can rotate this block um, to your pitch and roll the strength and effectiveness of this block scale with its size and the chosen material so the bigger the size uh, block gyro you have the better and the better material the more maneuverability you'll get out of a gyro block it is possible to turn and break the ship without thrusters so at the moment I'm just demonstrating to show you that this ship has no thrusters on it to make it turn and move I've only got a uh, inertial dampener sitting at the front of the ship so it's entirely possible to play this game by just putting uh, gyro array blocks down I've never really done it I'll be honest but it is possible to do so the only thing you can't do is strafe and reverse they can only be attained by thrusters so gyro array blocks don't benefit from leverage so this one block does not benefit from leverage it works like leverage though but just slightly different um, gyro array blocks apply torque directly to your ship it doesn't matter where you put gyro array blocks you can put them at the ends of your ship doesn't matter underneath it I don't know wherever you, you think uh, might be impossible but we're in the center it doesn't matter it's going to apply the same torque to your ship so I thought I might bring this up uh, just a small point radiant per second rotational speed is capped at four uh, rotation uh, radiant per second so I, I'm just I guess it's a bit useless information but when you're starting out in Avorian uh, you'll probably run into this problem because your ships are going to be so light and you're probably going to hit hit cap quite early on in your ship building so if you do just keep an eye out for the stat maybe you can replace it with um, cargo hull more shields oh I don't know you know anything you might want to put another block in place instead of putting another thruster down but keep in mind that there, there is a cap in the game for uh, radiant per second this won't be an issue when your ship gets larger and larger <laughs> you'll never hit this cap so but early on it's something to keep an eye out for I guess so these are these are tough questions here um, it, how should I apply this to my build what thruster should I use why does my ship turn slowly these are difficult questions okay so you can build your ship entirely of thrusters for just maneuverability you can do the same with directional thrusters and you can do the same with gyros you don't have to put all three onto a build if you do see and it's very difficult for me to say this because I have no idea what you're building uh, but if you do gyros are best put in the center of your ship they get the most benefit you get the most benefit from gyros from the center of your ship because directional thrusters and thrusters don't you don't benefit much from having them in the middle of your ship so if you if you've got a spot in the middle of your ship and you're lacking at your pitch and roll for some reason then put gyro blocks down again make sure they're a decent sized gyro block because they do scale with size and they do scale with material so if you come across a better material upgrade your gyro blocks you know so and then the next layer would be adding thrusters um, from the center of mass and then directional thrusters on top of that as well to compensate for uh, your pitch and roll 
So there is a layer that you could put down and use all three thrusters on your build if you use them correctly. The most common thing that, that you'll run into a problem in, with your ship building is the mass of your ship. And one block is probably a problem troll for most people that are starting out in the game. You'll probably find when you're building stuff, you'll test it out and you go, oh, this, this is moving really well and all the rest of it. And then you apply armor blocks. And armor blocks are a big culprit to a lot of people's build that reduces maneuverability. Armor blocks are 66% heavier. Uh, blocks, they add a lot of HP to your ship. They add a lot of mass to your ship as well. And if you add mass to your ship and weight to your ship, that's going to directly affect your maneuverability. So you need to account for that when you're building. If you plan on putting armor on your ship, you want to account by um, overcompensating with thrusters, directional thrusters, um, and all the rest of it on your ship. So when you put the next layer of armor on, uh, you, 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 your ship will still perform um, adequately. I hope that's answered uh, some of your questions. It's very difficult because I don't know what you're building. But yeah, I, I'm hoping that's answered a few of your questions. So in conclusion, thrusters and directional thrusters benefit from leverage. Directional thrusters have 2.5 times greater thrust along that axis. Thrusters, directional thrusters and gyros scale with volume. So the bigger the thruster block is, the bigger the volume block is, the better it is for a thruster. You get more power coming out of it. Gyro array blocks do not benefit from leverage since they apply torque directly to your ship. So it doesn't matter where you put your gyro blocks. But I reckon the best benefit you can get from gyro blocks is actually putting them in the center of mass because that's the gap which thrusters and directional thrusters can't cover properly. Gyro array blocks scale with material strength. Keep in mind, upgrade your gyro array blocks to better material um, as you make your way through the galaxy. And just for a small point, rotational speed cap is for radiant per second. So that is thrusters, directional thrusters, and gyros in a nutshell. I hope this has helped out any beginners out there in Avorian, and I hope that it's brought some understanding to a lot of people coming into the game. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This video was quite hard to do um, and present. Uh, leave a comment, leave a like, uh, hit the subscribe button, um, and yeah, see you in the gal galaxy. All right, bye.